Pearl, the longer legged of the two, very intelligent fighter from Quest Taekwondo, and she's on the quest for a World Championship final here. Nice footwork from the Brit in red, shifting back and forward. Kudashova, very, very adept at getting into the close distance. And that is just as it sounds. Likes to get in there, throw those kicks around. Really good at controlling the distance with that front leg is Powell. Excellent control of distance. Peter Shover tried to scramble away and good stuff from the Russian gets in there on the inside. And she is 2-0 to the good. So two to the good in favour of Kudashova. Aliyah Powell in prime position. Can she use that front leg? Good shot again there from the Russian. Grabs one underneath. It's 4-0. So that's 7-0 now in favour of Kudashova. And just as you can tell, the graphics have disappeared for the moment. But will the chances of Aliyah Pell disappear as well? And they're certainly ebbing off into the distance. You can probably see there in the background, 9-0 in favour of the Russian in blue. It's been a great start, the Russian in a hurry as she comes forward, lands another one there. Just a little technical problem with the scoreboard. Aliyah Pell, she's not started the way she would have liked here. Doesn't want to settle for bronze, but Kudashova, well, I mentioned that experience that she's got. It's a big step up from the juniors into the seniors. But Powell, under the lights and under pressure. And it's not right at all, though. She's a tough competitor, the young British fighter. Well, the British fans trying to give some encouragement to Powell, but there was pretty little to cheer about for her in that one. Good kicks. Right in the face from Kudashova. Is it all over for Powell? Well, Kudashova, of course, a silver medalist in last year's, or the last edition of the World Championships. Can she go one better and get herself into the final? Hits the deck there, we will take the gam jump. Aliyah Powell has British interests in her hands and feet, can she find a shot though? No, but look at Kudashova, so good, so accurate. And it's a bit of a chasing at the moment for Powell. Lessons learned. Could it be a point gap? You get more than 20 points at the end of the second period. It could be a point gap finish. Leah Powell trying to find her feet here, get her confidence going. Good back leg turn to kick there, nice back kick though from Kudashova. Well, as a contest, it could be all over for Powell. Lubin Richards just saying, try the over-the-shoulder crescent kick, which is what she goes for. Not easy to do. Under the lights, the big occasion. She's done tremendously well to make it into this stage. Is it going to be a bronze medal for the young British fighter in red? Or well, the scoreboard tells its own story. Powell's sister chain, trained with Jess Enicus on the way up in terms of the athletics and she needs a real sprint finish here to try and get back into this but could show that not going to be touched this one is all over by the shouting and yeah, Powell summoning up any energy that she's got to try and salvage a bit of credibility and respectability a world championship bronze for it it's a very credit worthy effort a long old day on the mat and she will have learned plenty in this one. But Kudashova, more than a match for her. Good stuff from Aliyah Powell there. Powell's one onto the board. But that may prove the end for Powell. Tough competitor. Never know when you come into this, maybe carrying a slight injury. She was very explosive earlier in the day. 
but the quality has been from Tatiana Kudashova. Look at this for a back kick. Textbook timing. Crowd love. Oh, good from Kudashova. Finds the short left leg in the inside. Takes the two points. Gives away the gam John for grabbing on the inside. Aliyah Powell trying to find some sort of way through. Oh, nice hooking kick again from Kudashova. Well, the levels here at the World Championships, we've seen super British success, but Kudashova has just been too good and too strong for too long. Aliyah Powell, unless you can find a knockout shot, will be going back with a bronze medal. Well earned. Peter Shova fakes to intimidate. Powell comes in with the jumping double attempt. And Ruben Richards saying, you've got one minute, get after it, go for it, go on your shield. And she's certainly trying to do just that. Well, it's been precious little for the referee to do as well. And precious little that Aliyah Powell can do. Sometimes you're just overmatched and you can see that shot in the inside. I wonder if she was carrying an injury. She's digging in the reserves of her fighting spirit here. The quest goes on for Paul. Emotional, tired. And for my money, injured as well. She did well to hide that, but it wasn't her usual explosive style. And Kudashova taking advantage, you can see for yourself. Paul is in pain. Can she stand? That's what champions do. Junior world champion, can she drag herself to her feet? There's little time left on the clock. And it looks like a real sore one there. Could be a hip injury. Well, spare a thought for the youngster. Look at that for fighting spirit. Gets up. The fans imploring her to keep going. And I'm sure Mum Sharon and Dad Clinton can be proud of their daughter. Well, as a contest, you can tell for yourself on the scoreboard. And the cam jump will be given. A little bit of confusion for the centre referee. The Russian coach just saying, don't worry, calm it down. Been there, seen that, done that. And cam jump invalidated. The referee, understandable, there's lots going on. 33 to 4. Aliyah Powell, for credit our bravery, tries that patented pressing kick in the clinch. But that injury has obviously put paid to her the best of her intentions. Tried the present kick, but Kudashova shows her how to do it herself. Lands a nice one, the Russian. And she's been absolutely superb, irrespective of any possible injury for Aliyah Powell. Tatiana Kudashova has been excellent from start to finish. She's going to finish with a flourish. She's put herself into another World Championship final. The Russian stamps her authority. Couldn't care less about the gam jump, of course. Elia Powell, to her credit, the walking wounded as she walks home the short distance with a bronze, but going the distance and into the final. Well, sometimes when you come to the top level, there's someone that's just a little bit better than you. But in this instance, Powell clearly favouring that leg, struggling to get the kicks going, but certainly not struggling was Kudashova. Let's give her her due credit. That big back kick blasting home. Couldn't have done any more. Landing cleanly, landing nicely. And the efforts will go on for Tatiana Kudashova. She's into that final. Who's going to join her? Thailand or Latvia? And that is up next.